searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find him, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. <laughs> Ain't safe lest you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Let me have a look at your stock.
And went to see the witch again. She's a chagrin. I tell you, we shouldn't. We can't lose hope. Rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to... Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage, says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure.
How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Faster. Hey there. The old god Take it easy. Sucklings. You didn't bring but a single scurvy run. No wonder he cursed us. I were doomed. Use the one brought sour boy. Curses your Come on. Here. Okay. Just 
interference. You must be very careful. They're on to us! They're not letting Kraym in! Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet. Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits.
Where? Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Where's that note? Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, that stench! didn't come here to ask nicely. Place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. Think they're feeding on them. Dutch Geralt stopped. You needn't be so detailed. Here, the noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you?
you. Have you got to the laboratory at the top of the tap? Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Major's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No! They came to rob and kill! They thought us rich, believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects haven't worn off yet. You are paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. 
but he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore. Yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember. And want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please.
I want to talk. You're deaf, damn it. I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? I want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. Twer Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? But... It can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But... What can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. There's a... Her bones? Yes. Give them here. And leave me be. Looks like rain. Dead. ghost. She's a pesta. And now she's free.
slow now. Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is, turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice. You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Pelamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh, with rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Seems like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight.
greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. What comes next once life subsides? Mine is all the fate decides. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each will say by what they're hurried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? The storm will prepare to end their grief. Let's begin for Father's Eve. Ye who wander on the gale, ever caught in this world's thrall, see this sign, gentle pale. Ye we summon, ye we call. Ye we summon, ye we call. Right? Spirit Burn the incense ever higher! Spirit join us in the fire! Ye we summon, ye we call! Enter souls, we'll judge ye all! All is void, all is Something whispers, something peeps! Someone near our fire creeps. A sound I hear. Tis right. The spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy! Help me! Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it and disperse the others. Good folk, leave not these grounds. Ye cannot break the circle. What <laughs> 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 Ah! 
It is an ill turn. Ill. Woe are we. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is quiet, all is gloom. What is Something whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is gloom. What is Wraiths! This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run! Is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back. Likely to keep his word. Old man Ambrose, the Pella fears not. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. Pretty damn hot. Isn't easy, not at all. Again. Wasn't it recent you had seen? Aye. I've an What is it you give the love? Mistakes. You'll find out as soon as you need their help. Busy, busy man. Come on, Roach.
Dog's tame. A pet. Wonder what it's doing here. Hmm. Got a key, so dear color. Hey there. Not so fast, Roach.
his body in good shape. Hmm. Even where the Peller smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. Slow now, whoa. Slower. Ye seek trouble? Don't. Night sits best to bar the door and shut your windows tight. Open it and gather in them terrible, devilish hands. Does the wild hunt's race riding down upon us? Mom, I told you already. Whoa there, Roach. White wolf, wise wolf, what is it the wolf needs? Found your father's body. Had to burn it. Good you did. Return for me ye would have. Ghost's not likely to come back. Thank you, Witcher. A reward for your aid. 
and if herbs or remedies you ever need, for near nothing you will have them from me. and traveling across Velen alone. No way that was gonna end well. Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepus. Wonder what spell requires that. Package still intact. Human, don't sense how many magic, magic though. Can't be far. I'll help Kirill explain this one.
thoughts just when I was starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Bring yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The king of in painful. Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now to return to the fairy tale. I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Vellum. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gonna transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gvela Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Cinderella, we'll have a great fall. Ha! As fast as you can! Try to catch me! Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Mm. 
beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I have two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or leave. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Uh, why are you even interested? Because I grasp the importance of the studies conducted there. In the wrong hands, the findings could do immense harm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject approach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So? Sorry. There's someone else. <laughs> so what? Oh, Geralt, Geralt. You're so old-fashioned. Will you at least lie down and gaze at the stars with me? Hmm. <laughs> Why not? Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no. It has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Eggvein Navi. Kira? Where? Put me to sleep with a spell. Means she's up to something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. floor of the tower. <laughs> 
So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty Poo. Wipe that frown off your face. Or I might think you don't like me anymore. I don't. You're a vile, two-faced, four-tongued viper. <laughs> oh ho. And I always took you for a gentleman. All jokes aside, what are you going to do with those notes? Do you really believe you can call me names and then revert to polite conversation just like that? Get out of my sight, before I give in to my urge to teach you some manners. I'll go as soon as you hand me those notes. Then you shall stay here forever. Have a day. way.